Welcome all to Castro Media. We are in the streets of Daystar University. And today, we are looking for a very well-known and renowned musician, Madam Helen Mtawali. Let us see if we can find her. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how we do it. I'm Jibambe, you know this is a motivate. Your mini and the pusher, you know what's going on, you know what's going on. Welcome to Castro Media, and this is Castro TV, where we inspire you, encourage you, and give you life lessons. As usual, I'm a favorite host in our channel, and today, in the building, we have this beautiful, beautiful young lady. I call her young because, of course, she's young, yeah? Yeah, Helen Akol Omolo Mtawali. Karibu sana. By the way, by the way, please. Say to Jarubu Jinyangu, by the way. Okay, you can introduce me. So, it's Helen Olivia Akol Omolo Nyarnyakach. Makini na kawuto tradu wa ngorade ya fo. Mtawali. Tumesikia. That's right. I'm a TV. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. So, um, Helen and Tawani, um, what do you do currently? I do many things. Uh -huh. Yeah, like 14 of them. Hey, so I'm a linguist. I don't know why people start statements with like so, etc. So I'm a linguist. I'm a lecturer here at this university. I teach music, but also um, geared to performing arts. So. I assist in teaching people who want to become musicians. I teach them how to become a musician, a performing artist. But those who really want to become not necessarily just performing artists, but also recording artists. So if they're interested, we combine. So somehow I also mentor those who love music, those who want to be in the industry or to want to join the industry. Apart from that, I'm a stylist. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, like I have my own clothes like Niki Choko na Ungu na Badilisa even a son up here, you know, like that. So, uh, apart from that, I also, <laughs> I'm the president of Africa Online Vocalists. It's now global. We set it out small, but right now it has, you know, like that. We've done already four seasons. We're about to do the fifth season. Somehow that too also made me get connections in South Africa for another one called Africa Awards. So Africa Awards is coordinated from South Africa. But I'm one of the CEOs, imagine the three mm -hmm. that talk, not guys, I thank God, I thank God, you know? Yes. Then also I uh, help s s somebody also coordinate a show called Talanta Ajira. And you know, one of the winners is in the house and then there's a, there's a lady also who I think in the category for modeling. Yes, she's in the house. Then there's one of those that I've developed from Africa Online Vocalist, a coach. Currently, she's the head of Africa Online Vocalist Special Edition. And that has kids. Those ones, Kawa Mishaima Zora. There's a kid who sings very well. Itabidi Umetueshimo. That's one of us here that we coach. Now, apart from just teaching music and mentoring people in music, I am also the latest one, mm -hmm. a TikToker. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's you told me, you taught me how to be TikTok, eh? I remember. Yes, yeah. and we should think it's just a big joke. Mm -hmm. But wow, you should see the latest dance that I did. I did. saw it. Did you did? like it? This woman has dance moves, let me tell you guys. If you think you can dance, eh, she can dance. Actually, you should start a show like that. You so you think you can dance, eh? So. <laughs> <laughs> and then you take celebrities and make them dance with dancers. Wale, wale, wakweli, eh? Oh my gosh, their life will be frustrated. Anywho, so um, I've been, um, I'm also an author. I've written books um, that help musicians to lead worship. I'm a performer. I'm a songwriter. I am a... Imagine a theme song for KCD, KCID. I'm also writing a theme song for a uh, British name for um, this. They just called me right now. Meds. You know, meds? Yes. 
and for many companies. So if you're a company out there looking for somebody who can write songs, team songs for you, for your events, etc., you go safari com. Yes. So um, many things. And my mother also, of course, I have one child, but many that I mentor. Yes. And um, also, I never forget that I'm a cookist. I love cooking and I design foods and cuisines. I bought well, not cuisines. It's called, I design, what are they called? Um, recipes. recipes. Yes. Yes. So I, mean, I, I will not eat boga or skuma the way you know it. No, I'll cook it in style because I'm a stylist. Wow. Yeah, just in case I forgot others, I know that music is related to dance, drama, acting. I'm an actress, by the way. Yeah. I did Serafina. If you actually watch Citizen, there was a time I did Serafina and I was Mama Serafina. Why is she statement? Do you know me? I'm going to Mama Serafina. I'm going to say, 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 Mama Serafina. I'm going to just like guys, we fool those ones. Grakuzi, we are on my insecticide, Jipangen. Yes, so I did, I did Serafina, I've done several um, uh, plays, I've done Serafina four times. I've done Rwanda Magere with Eric Wainaina. Yeah, and many, many things, oh Lord. I can't even find from there. Yes. yes. Jack of Wall, it's called Jane of Wall. Mm-hmm. So just a map sort of a few. Nice. Do you? I, I, I also do modeling. Modeling, yeah, Masha. You keep playing that cool. Shukuria, Masha, Pisha. Tafana, this is Kido Gozil. Danny? Yes, yes. This is Masha, this is Pate, you feel complex for the longest time. You put good one with Pesa, because I'm going to be. Hey. Oh, my. Did you find a task of building? Fake enough. Kill it in your kill. No. Masha. Camera and then on your own, so sometimes you know, unfortunately or fortunately, out there in the pop world, sometimes there's something if you have something that stands out. Come on, you know, you must kill them, must start out. I got it with the camera. Zoom, yo, that's a day, and it's a dog. It was a good one. Now, I'm going to see the narrator. Pesa, now, I'm going to see the narrator. Wow, I'm going to see the scale of the bar. You know, I'm going to see the query. Yes. Okay. I asked one again. Very nice introduction. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you quite a lot of things. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, when did you first realize, okay, we all know you as a very good singer, a legendary musician, yeah? Mm. So, when did you first realize that you can sing? In the womb. <laughs> my mom used to say she looks at the stomach and goes, mm. <laughs> 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 Yes. So, I know, I, my mom says that there was a time I was very sick. And when I got sick, um, I was about to die. But when I came to, I sang Moto Me Wakaleo. I put the katoko from Domo and the Kapona. Yes. And that old, I was how many? Like, how, how old were you at that I think I was like two, two, three years. Two years old. Mm-hmm. Two years, yes. So that is when you realized you can actually. My mom even ran that. Because you know, she took us to church and she, she did not imagine that I could sing. I have to sing those words anyway. But that, those words came. In fact, I said more. I sang it. And doctors, th- doctors thought I was going to die. But then I, after singing that song, I was alive. I think upon my mind, I was discharged immediately. Immediately? Yeah. Yes. Wow. And you know kids, eh? when you're in hospital, you don't even know you're in hospital. You just yeah, jump, yeah. jump just around. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have stories. You have stories? <laughs> you have a lot of stories. You can't finish right now. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, yes. when you were young, mm-hmm. when you realized you can sing, your mom realized you can sing when you were at the age of two and you yourself. So when did you start taking professional? Yeah, Professionally, okay. I came at, at Tudesa University and I met Japheth and Amka Sanga here. Japheth used to work here at this university as a bookshop, at the bookshop, cashier. So he listened to us one day, there was a group that we started called Kriambas. So when he listened to us, he listened to my alto and he says, Hi, I have a video on Naimba, I think. How do you come back? Ellen, I'm going to Ellen. Ellen, Ellen, you may be a man, you have 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 a man
<laughs> and that's that's how I joined Kasangas. Mm -hmm. And then he actually just did not need any other alto. And he's I've, I've sung with Kasanga for very long. Yes. He's on Mia Kaziko Magoti. I actually he actually mentored me to do so many. Even right now directing music, I saw from him. He used to direct a choir called Mulango Joint Choir. Mm -hmm. So I saw him directing music, also directing people who would play instruments. Currently I play all instruments. So that's one of the things that I love that I learned from him. Right from guitar mm -hmm. to drum set to everything that I play. Yes. Including the mouth saxophone. Would you do us the mouth saxophone right now? Dana, I think our viewers would really love to hear that one. Which one? Dana, yes. The acapella. Yes. Which, which song? <laughs> that one. Yeah, but which song we want? Did I hear you say Damu Ya Yesu? Oh. Damu Ya Yesu, whichever. Okay, so we just sing a, a song complete. Oh, oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Do me now. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Yeah. It's actually helping to create volume. So because this is we call this a resonator. So so it taps the sound so you're able to hear it like as if I'm using a speaker. Yeah, so this is a mouth speaker. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's very beautiful, yes. Thank you so, so much. Beautiful. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So was yeah. there any challenges that you faced when growing the, the moment you took the professionalism part of music? Are there any challenges you faced? Are there any discouragements you got from people? Yeah. Or was it all positive? Yeah. How is it? Usually it's not a happy go lucky trend. So ideally must face challenges. Technically, because we're human, we face challenges. One of the challenges I used to face is finances. Your name is big out there, and then um, the pocket is not big. So it takes you a while for you to be renowned. Um, did a, a CD in 2007. When I did that CD in 2007, in 2014, that's when you'd hear kids saying, Mango, 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 Mango. I said, Mango, Mango, I sang, see how many years? Seven years be. Kidambo. So every church I would go now, they would know me for that song. And it's a Nigerian song that I they write. It's Niger. Where is this? Where is this one? Eh? If you are playing Mango, Mango, that means you enter and you go. You are quarter, quarter, and you are not even straightforward. You they go for this place, you go for another, another place like that. I'm not telling truth. If you're not telling kids, you call them Mago Mago. So these kids, they know me after seven years of singing Mago Mago. Ha! They know this song right now. And I've sang it for seven years. Mm -hmm. Sang it everywhere, everywhere. Then once in a while you hear people saying, eh, that was the one who was singing Mago Mago. I said, oh yeah, I sang Mago Mago seven years ago. If you recorded it, why don't you have it? So seven years after. That's where people know it. And it was only known for a long time. Mm -hmm. After knowing it for one, two, probably that for 2014, that's why it was exploiting. And everywhere, everywhere they hear it. After 2014, oh, children came Everybody did forget them. If you and I talk about Mago Mago, no, I don't know it. Mm -hmm. I do not know Mago Mago. Do you know it? I don't know. Born today, yesterday, just the other day here. No one knows it. So, so, so some, one of the challenges is don't go into the industry thinking you get rich in one day. No. And also don't get into the industry knowing that you're going to be renowned on the same day. Like you enter and you have a hit. You might do a hit like a hit. <laughs> See? It's done. Like a ball. I tell you. So you're thinking like, oh my gosh, people are going to know. Shock on you. You lose like your head. 
Unless if like a kina bahati who probably are favored to just meet people who can actually just blow it up in the industry. It has to be top. Somebody top in the in maybe Safari Com, somebody top in Skiza who can be able to place a, a DJ who is renowned who keeps playing it. If it gets that kind of favor, then you are renowned. But unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't translate to what's in the pocket. So definitely, that's a challenge. And then, last but not least, there are several challenges. But this one is a big one: is um, when you would challenge of 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 maintaining integrity, because some people would be renowned great worship leader, but then you know, people fear you because of the lies that you say. It's hard to trust you as a singer. Musicians are being sent money for, and when they are sent money up hand, they say, they're going to perform in this show, then they give you a deposit, then you don't show. So most musicians would do that because probably, because it doesn't translate in the pocket, so they would eat that money up, and then if you can see when the show starts, I'm at a place I could report. Yes, so they provide a show the job. So. One of the challenges that Ilivuma around that our time is musicians who are known but are not trustworthy. Yeah, and there are many challenges, probably balancing between different jobs. Mm -hmm. I am a balance of big time, man. So, and sometimes you balance because people have expectations from you. Mm -hmm. They, you have a big name, so you're not supposed to be broke. You have a big name, you're not supposed to probably have children. Or housemaid and a kuja and a kisha kuja and a jiwa vizuri sana. You know, so there are many, many things that would, would challenge us during that time. But God is still in control and is, yeah. Very nice. So, uh, you have a band yes. that you lead. Yes. Uh, a piece of band. What, a piece of band. What yes. encouraged you to, to start your work? I came to this campus as a student. And there was a group called Amambazo. Mm -hmm. Amambazo would sing. Well, it's a group of boys, seven boys. And they would sing a cappella so nicely. And they would sing songs from different parts. But majored on Zulu music, Uganda music, some Kenyan music, and Lingala. They would sing, specifically sing these four songs. And it just blew my mind. Because how they change their tongue. Today you're singing Zulu and you can actually hear you singing. And they're singing it like a Zulu person. You feel like Zulu is inside the house. Then before you know it, you have changed into Uganda. They've changed the tongue into Uganda. And twinkling of an eye, they're now Kenyans. That's how they say, what we you do? How I want to. What is it? What's the magic? And I tell you, the crowd in this would go wild. I was a student of them. After that, then I said, Kwan, what's different? What's hard? So I met some Zulu people here who would now, people who speak Zulu, and they really, and also, and they would teach me now. I said, let me learn it. My dad used to work here too. My dad is a linguist like me, so he, we would compete and learn some of those um, songs from different parts, mm -hmm. and this attracts 42 people from uh, uh, over 42 countries. So I said, let me take advantage. So during lunchtime or whatever, we would sit somewhere. The first language I learned was um, was Arabic, Arabic from South Sudan. Now Arabic from South Sudan, I was taught by somebody who used to call him Arcangelo and a crew in South Sudan. They, these guys were would stand out. Let me show Black, navy black. Yani, yani, they are so dark. They are in back of the tent. crew. You can actually, they are in civil men and they are They don't just see the tip, you know. So they used to work in a crew. So I was like, a certain confidence I had, and I was like, what is what is your string with this language? Let me learn it. So one of them started teaching me. Before I know it, the whole crew would teach me Arabic, and when I meet them, I would speak Arabic. 
so my brain started speaking Arabic. In one side, I wake up in the morning, I say, Allah farrahan fil nazrak al jamila, alhamdulillah. In the row one, then I started speaking it, speaking Dwayne, and then I go and speak to my mother. Kidogo, kidogo, I started learning different languages. Before I knew it, Daystar was just a heaven for me. So I took advantage of that and said, you know what? How about just making use of this gift and and probably nurturing other? Then I started thinking of how we can be able to sing songs. So I realized that learning songs from different parts of the world would help me in two ways. One, it would teach me the language. Two, it would make us unique. Because anybody who stands up to sing, Kizungu. Anybody who stands up to sing, Swahili. That's it, how about? Not knowing that one day this is what would take me to America, to 28 different states to do concerts. And every place we went and sang in different languages, if we found somebody who would speak, say, who hear Amharic, they cry when we sing the Amharic song. Mm -hmm. And if there's a suicide to Amis, Boston, Kwanzaa, they, they would cry. I was like, ha, ha, how did you know that? You know, I said, you know what? This is a way of touching lives. Yes. How would you feel if you went to China? And we found this Chinese singing in Luo. And I'm like, the Luo, can I be Luo? And those people are Tara, by the way. Precise and Tara. You cry. There's a group in China called Chingala. And those Chinese, the Chinese who speak Lingala, and they speak it like the Lingala people themselves. So I said, why not? So before I know it, I started getting invitations from UN, from international bodies within. Can I say there's a woman who sings from different parts. If you have an event and you have people from different parts of the world, ask her to come. So we had rapper tour to sing for the Nigerians who come for this UN meeting. And they're waiting for us to start singing in Niger with a blow them up all well. And we know our song, we learn over 20 songs. When we start, we just open and open and open and open. When we don't finish opening, we open again. Oh yeah, we will touch the life. We don't finish that one. We go South Africa, and we the way there and come on We finish. We go Amharic. We go Egypt. Amharic. Learning Amharic was a kid, the best student who was who was used to speak Amharic, and she didn't know English, so we did an exchange. I would teach her English. She teaches me Amharic. I teach her English. She teaches me Amharic. Not knowing that one day this is one day it would open a door for me in Ethiopia. And I went to Ethiopia and I was invited to an East African leadership conference. And they said, they Google, what can you partner man? You Google your say, then you want to be So they Google. Once they, once they Googled my name and found they, this guy came from, from Pencil. Anyway, so I was able to meet these guys from Pennsylvania. They came to Hanningham here and they interviewed me. They say, this and this and this and this. We want to take you to Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. I want to do a concert. When we finish the concert, we'll do a tour. That professional. It was called Beyond Idols. So all most winners of idols like um, shows in America and in different parts of the world, we formed a band. And guess what? I was representing Africa. Because I'm going to see Kuali Verizon. But that one was a big, huge um, break for me. So we toured America again. In Lipatakama, we had done two tours, but this time according to because I was I was now engaged in this one, Beyond Idols. So if you Google on if you go on Google and check out Beyond Idols, but you see the team. There was a team from Indonesia, a team from the US, so and many, many others. So I thank God that I've been able to do so so much within my time. Yes. Uh -huh. So um as you finish up. Yes. What, what can you tell people out there who are looking up to you and can teach you? Uh, what's your encouragement to people who feel like I want to sing, but maybe don't have the voice? Um, and then, as we finish up, you can also tell us where we can find you on social media. So, guys, 
I need to know is music is great, but don't go into music because you want to be rich. For those of you who are looking for me so you can know how to sing, do not give up. Anyone who can sing, who can talk, can sing. Do not despise your voice because that voice is a So trust yourself and also believe that you can actually make a difference with your voice. So if you can talk, you can sing. Do not be afraid to find me. Do not be afraid to find us. I have been at this time university for the longest time. And even if you don't find me, you'll find my mentees around. They're always willing to stay. One of the things that I do with people that I mentor is I teach you, but you should be ready to teach somebody else. Because that's how I develop different Helens or many other Helens. That's my succession plan. Know that if you can talk, you can sing. And you can also be able to teach right from just being taught the first lesson. You don't have to have all those lessons, but whatever you have been taught, make sure that you exercise by teaching somebody else. That's the only way you can know how much you have been able to retain. It's also the other way you can know whether you can make a good teacher or not. Just be ready to teach somebody. Articulate it out there. Speak it out and change somebody's life. You can find me on YouTube uh, with the handle Helen Mtawali. Find me. Also, you can find me on Facebook. On Facebook, I have two accounts. One is Malaika Mtawali. Another one is Helen Akoth Mtawali. Those are my profile accounts. But also, there's Helen Mtawali, the page. There's also other programs that I have online. Africa Online Vocalists. Come on, join the group. Because in that group, by the way, which who you'd have loved to see. So if you go to our page, our videos are available. Check out what other people have been able to do. Imagine within less than a year, we have had 14,000 plus following us. We're waiting for you. Talanta Ajia is another one that is found online where you can go to the page of the group called Talanta Ajira. Now, Ajira has double I on the page, but it has a single I on the group. Talanta Ajira is also open for you if you think you have a talent at a cooking. Talanta Ajira will welcome any talent, cooking, dancing, eating, whatever you can be able to do. Don't be afraid to join us. We are having our last, our final intake for this year coming up soon to check us out on the group. Check us out also, also on the page and you get notified and updated on what's up. You can also find me on Instagram. I'm not a heavy Instagram, but there's somebody who runs that account for me at Pretty B B I I. Pretty B, one word. You can also find me on Helen Tawali. Just search for Helen Tawali. I'll be there. TikTok. I told you that's the latest one. Hey. <laughs> Find me on TikTok. My handle on TikTok is also Malaikam Tawali and Helen Akof Mtawal without an I. Find me on TikTok and let's share. Please, it's your birthday, Pata. If you want to see me physically come to Desta University, check you out and thank you so much. Thanks so much, Helen Mtawali, for honoring my request and your assets. Really appreciate you. Thank you for the encouraging words. Thank you for taking your time.